Hey Gavox here, so they patched the game again. Uh, game update 1.13, we're gonna go through each of the notes. It's not that big of a patch, but we'll see how it affects the you know play on the field because there are some gameplay changes again, and we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. So, gameplay, well, we'll talk about it right now. Legend difficulty in Diamond Dynasty now has a smaller timing window resulting in lesser chance of putting the ball into play. Now, they nerfed the hitting at Legend difficulty. I know... The ability to score runs at Legend difficulty definitely became easier with 1.11 with and 1.12. So, uh, a game's got a little bit easier to play because those players are very good at the game. They're able to, to square up the ball, drive it. So, making it harder to hit there, it's a strange change because generally with offense, it's, it's, it's a little bit more fun of a game because if you're able to put your PCI on the ball and have it go somewhere, that's nice. Rather than like making it harder to do that, um, put the ball into play, it, it, it kind of depends, because, right, it, the, the timing window, making it tighter makes it harder to square up balls, right? Not harder to get the timing on the ball correctly, which which does make sense, which makes it easy or harder um, to get those kind of line drives and, and to drive the ball correctly. So, for, in my in my opinion, I don't play on Legend Difficulty. I only play on All-Star and Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame and Ranked Seasons, and then All-Star for events and BR and that kind of stuff. Once I get to World Series for the month, I'm just done because Legend Difficulty, to me, maybe it's gotten better recently with recent patches, but in the past, it was it was a nightmare. Still hitting against Kershaw uh, is still a nightmare right now, and I, I can't... I don't know what Kershaw is going to be like on Legend, but I just hope I don't have to play him when I don't have Kershaw on the mound. Or I think when I'm going against Kershaw, I normally got Ryan going, so it's not too bad because they're both very hard to hit. So next on the gameplay, because Legend difficulty doesn't affect a lot of people. People only that play ranked seasons. I play I play friendlies on Legend difficulty just to get better at the game. Uh, but really, it's I don't know. I don't know if friendly Legend difficulty is the same as or casual online. Legendary difficulty is the same as uh, World Series difficulty. I'm not sure if it's dif different or not. So, next, slightly more swing and misses for timing in Diamond Dynasty. Um, and then we'll, we'll talk about that. Does not affect timing window, but converts the most extreme timing fouls into misses, meaning an occasional very early or l very late swing that barely made contact will now be a miss. This is a good, 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 good change. I like this change a lot. Um, you never know how these changes are going to affect the rest of the batting, right? Because, you know, sometimes in, in coding, you, you yank one little string and then the whole sweater comes undone. So, it's a great uh, change in theory uh, if it doesn't affect anything else. Because people that are way off the ball, way in front of it, way behind it, um, them falling off the ball, uh, especially out of the zone and getting bailed out, when well, they should be like swinging and missing, right? If they're that far off of it, uh, to strike out, stay alive in the um, at-bat when they're that far off. I think it's a good thing. I, I'm glad that they made it more difficult uh, when you're really, really uh, bad or when you're really, really fooled by the pitcher. Like that's a, like being very early or very late is a big win for the pitcher, right? You shouldn't reward wins for the pitcher with a, you know, a neutral, a, a, a slight loss if it's less than two strike or nothing at all to the batter. Um, so good change there. I like that. Still nothing about, even with this last one, nothing about, you know, good squared up or good goods falling at a higher rate. It's so weird, right? Do they not hear a feedback on square up balls? Like, do we need to talk about that more in front of them? I feel like that's consistently, con uh, consciously out there. Uh, but next, sinkers and changes lose a bit more break when pitched high in the zone. Um, I don't know. Like, here's the thing. Change-ups, I didn't really see a lot of those high in the zone. Sinkers, you see a lot of them because they're hard to square up, hard to hit hard. Uh, they're very powerful and uh, a good pitch. Sinkers low in the zone. I feel like sinkers low in the zone, I, I, I see them get hit a lot. Like when I throw a sinker low, and even if it's below the zone, I feel like they're getting touched up for base hits quite a bit. So sinkers, I hope they don't go the way of the cutter um, into irrelevance because if you're throwing in the zone, the cutter, and they make solid content, that thing is just trampolining off the bat. So a sinker with no, uh, without any break, I mean, high, it's fine. It makes sense to nerf them high, but they I just don't want them to be like two-seamers, right? And, and two-seamers, cutters, that kind of stuff that should move a lot, that don't. like. I, I really want them to completely revamp their pitching to make these balls move like they do in real life. You ever see a two-seamer in real life on like a guy that throws a good one? It's like, woo, it really does move like quite a few inches. Like in game, it moves like three inches, um, whereas in, in real life, you can see it move like a foot. So... Sinkers, change-ups, um, yeah, so there's a little bit of the pitching that can change, but they're nerfing sinkers high, which is fine. I mean, sinkers high weren't, that's not like, you know, real life, so whether you care about them being relevant or not is one matter. Whether they should have been that effective high, 
is probably the same. Like I, the thing I don't get is why are why are balls why when you pitch a fastball? It's something I never quite got. Maybe maybe somebody explain it to me in the comments. When you pitch a fastball high, why is it higher miles per hour than when you pitch it low? Right? The balls coming. They, they measure the ball out of the hand now. They don't measure it at the plate. So out of the hand, the difference between a high pitch and a low pitch is like that much, right? Between high and low, where you release, where you release the ball. And to be like 99 or 101 high to like 97, 98 low doesn't make any sense. Because especially even 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 low, like they're going with gravity, right? You'd think that'd help it uh, maintain velocity. But again, where they measure velocity now isn't it doesn't matter uh, that the ball is low when, and the gravity helps it. So maybe that is IRL uh, when you when you throw a high ball. The thing is, in real life, it, it feels faster, higher because it's harder to get around. When you, when you go low, it's easier because it, it feels like you can get your bat around to it better. Higher, it, it, it definitely feels harder to get your bat around it high. So it's more of a batter's thing um, in real life than a pitcher mile per hour thing. But anyways, high sinkers, gone. Um, fine, fine, fine. Nerfing pitching, nerfing hitting a little. Eh, balanced. Miscellaneous. Notification settings are now saved correctly when entering and exiting different modes. Awesome. Weird, weird that... Uh, MLB The Show can change a settings bug, but Madden cannot. Had the same setting bugs all year in Madden, but MLB The Show seems to have a coder that can do it. They found the Wonderkin. Fixed a memory leak because the next one would cause hard lock after an extended amount of time spent in moments. Good. Good, good, good. I hate my memory leaks, right? I'm, I'm getting old. I'm 84 years old. My memory seems to leak quite a bit, so I'm glad that they helped at least in the game. Memory leak issue go away. Next, limited the amount of times you can throw cancel when the play is over. I heard this was leading to like freeze offs or something or, or locks. So they got rid of that. And then, uh, good. I mean, there's really no reason for a throw cancel after the play is over. Corrected intro audio for the September 14th, 1995 list on home run moment. Don't care. Update to a few MLB stadiums where the ball hit specific region that would not be ruled as a home run. Stadiums include Kaufman, Oriole, and Fenway. Um, I saw one at Miller Park. Uh, it was kind of along the you know the yellow part of it. I hit the top of it. It uh, did not count as a home run. I was salty. I ended up winning the game, but so there's still there's still stadium issues out there. But I think they just basically they knock it out when they get reports of them. I don't remember where the issue on the on the stadium was, or else I I would report it. Uh, 2018 World Series champs pennant added to Fenway Park. Cool graphical adjustment at minor league Bayfront Park and classic Forbes Field. I wonder if they fixed Forbes Field's batter eye. If that's the graphical adjustment. Uh, where, cause like a right-handed pitcher pitches like between trees and it is so hard to see a, a white ball against the, the daytime background at Forbes. So Forbes is cheesy as crap. It's a bad stadium to play in already. And then with the, uh, the, the backdrop of a pitcher uh, being impossible to tell whether four seamers coming in also terrible minor UI adjustments. We'll see uh, a lot of devil in the details in those. Um, so this will deploy tonight. 3 a.m. Pacific time, 6.22.19. If you see this video tomorrow, it obviously already happened. Uh, but that is the update. I'm cautiously optimistic like all these things, but we'll see how she plays. Um, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I will see you tomorrow.